Hello YouTube, this is comics, sports, movies, etc. I'm here, uh, this is actually my first comic book review. Uh, this comic that I'm actually reviewing is The Amazing Spider-Man, issue number 16, as we can see there. It's written by Slot and Christos Gage. And the artwork is by Umberto Ramos, who's been the ongoing artist. Uh, for the Amazing Spider-Man now for some time. Um, basically, this issue takes place like pretty much right after the um, Spider-Verse uh, crossover, where, as we know, um, you know that involves Spider-Man from different dimensions, and they went against the Inheritors and they beat them. Now, in this issue, basically, um, the issue starts with like Spider-Man. He's fighting like some. Uh, lizard looking lizard looking guy his name is the iguana right here this is the uh opening page right there uh, let me show you guys like some footage here about this hold on just fix this here right there okay so as you see here there's this villain right there called the iguana you know and um basically I've never really heard of this supervillain before. I don't know if he's new or if um, he's been around for a while. But, uh, you know, the artwork, as you can see, is definitely great. And like I was saying, basically in the issue, it starts with uh, Spider-Man. Um, he's fighting this uh, supervillain named the Iguana. And he's also on the phone. He gets into a phone call with uh, uh, with Ms. Marconi. And, um, you know, who's working at his, his company, Parker Industries. And then, um, you know, basically he's supposed to be at like this event where there's different like companies, including Alchemax, um, Roxxon Corporation, these different corporations that want to try to see if they can build this uh, supervillain prison where Peter Parker, he's actually wants to be the one to win um, and, you know, be able to get the contract to build um, the prison. You know, um, amongst other things, we see also in this issue that, um, you know, the black cat is actually, you know, she's become kind of like the kingpin of like New York City now. Um, she's definitely like no joke. And it's, it's actually kind of funny in a sense because over at DC, like Catwoman, she's become now the kingpin of Gotham. Um, those are, those that have been reading like Batman Eternal. And, um, you know, that weekly series and even the Catwoman book itself, uh, showcases now what Catwoman's position is in Gotham. So it's kind of interesting that we have Catwoman in DC and we have the Black Cat at Marvel. And now the Black Cat has like, she used to just be a common thief, the same as like Catwoman in the DC universe. And, um, and now the Black Cat is like, you know, she's like pissed off because she lost everything and, you know, she wants to now, like, gain all her assets. And, you know, she she has, like, a whole bunch of, like, super villains that are now, like, under her. You know, like, uh, they work for her. So, they're, like, her muscle. Let me see if I can show you some pages of that. So, here we see um, the black cat, like, right here. This is actually the second part to the storyline. I'm holding, I'm actually holding the comic book a bit because there's a lot of glare um, when I leave it by itself. So, I'm sorry about that, guys. Um, but you see here the excellent artwork of Humberto Ramos, and it says here Black Cat and Repossession, Part 1. It says right there, Part 1, Stolen Memories. So we see her here that she starts talking about how like she lost everything. But the interesting is thing is that I'm going to show you guys here, um, is that they these two supervillains, they bring this other villain before her. And you see here that he's trying to like plead his case and tell her that he did steal from her. And you see here he's like the black cat everybody used to know had a heart and I'm begging her, please, for mercy. So she's actually become very tough now. She was almost getting like soft hearted. She was going to let the guy go. And then you see like on this page here, like the guy, he comes out and attacks them. And he's like suckers. And, you know, you see, like, she attacks him back. And then look what she says here. She says, you're going right back out to earn so you can bring me triple. The usual cut. And then you see here she says, kill her and strike. 
Killer Shrike and Meltzer make an example of this idiot so everyone who lays eyes on him knows. And as she says it up here, she says, you don't cross the black cat. And they say, our pleasure, boss. And they really beat like the living daylights out of this guy. So we see that like Black Cat has definitely become like a person of power now in New York City. So she's going to be a major player. I'm thinking like moving forward. But I guess we'll have to see that what's going to happen with the Amazing Spider-Man book um, once, you know, like Battle World comes. And let me show you something else, which is very um, important. In this. Now, the other important thing in this issue is like this character here. Um, I guess he's the ghost. I've never heard of him either. He gets hired by like a rival company to Parker Industries that wants to utilize him to, I guess, sabotage Parker Industries. Um, so it says here to be continued. That was like the first half of like this comic book. And what I showed you previously with the black cat, that was like the second half. So, um, you know, all in all, you know, the issue, it was, it was, it was pretty good. I mean, you know, it's definitely entertaining, and um, I definitely, and right here's the cover to it, that's Humberto Ramos's like, artwork right there, I definitely give it, like, out of four stars, I give it, like, a three solid, it was definitely um, entertaining, um, the only thing is, like, the issue, the issue does leave you wanting more, which is, I guess, a good thing, but I don't know about you guys, what you guys think, but I really think that I really dig and like the Dan Slott's writing, um, in this comic book, um, and Christos Gage also, he was, he's a pretty good writer for Spider-Man as well. Umberto Ramos's art is, on, is spot on. So I give it three solid out of four. I guess, you know, we'll see where this is headed. Um, also, uh, we're going to be having this week because this issue actually came out last week, but I'm reviewing it now. Um, but there's also the amazing Spider-Man 16.1 which is another storyline um, involving like the underground uh, criminals in, um, in, in um, New York City with Spider-Man. So we'll see how that turns out. So if anything, guys, um, let me know what you thought about the uh, video. It's my first video. Basically, even though, you know, I'm sharing it with, you know, my fellow YouTubers, I'm actually also doing this to have like some kind of catalog to help myself uh, remember certain things that happen in issues because if you're... A fellow comic reader like myself sometimes there's so much stuff that happens characters relationships that you kind of wind up forgetting so you know this is just for me to keep track as well so let me know guys what you thought about you know my video um share any tips anything to improve um and i welcome all comments all right take care and have a great day guys